What's up YouTube and welcome to a new game on my channel called Wonder Park Magic Rides. You probably saw the trailer somewhere, if it's on YouTube, if it's in the cinema, I don't know where you saw it. But this is a game uh, correlating to the movie Wonder Park, which is a beautiful game if you like something like, beautiful game, beautiful movie obviously, if you like something like, I don't know, Toy Story or any Pixar movie or, or Zootopia, anything in that. It looks very, very cute, it looks very cool. So if you're interested in watching that, watching that. However, we got the game here, thanks to the Pixel guys. They reached out to me, asked me, hey, you wanna try out the game before it's actually starting? Um, sponsored a video for that, so thanks for that. I played already a little bit because I hate it when YouTubers don't play the game, just talk about it. I actually played it, I built this park with my own bare hands and now I'm showing you actually what you can do in this game, give you a couple of um, tips and tricks for uh, Wonder Park Magic Rides and yeah, let's just enjoy the ride. So, the game itself is about um, yeah building your own park, obviously, just like the movie. And um, you see, oh, 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 we got an angry wonder chimp. You probably saw those in the trailer. Wonder chimps are beautiful creatures which help you to work on your park, but they can get bored. And if they get bored, they turn into zombie chimps. Which means, like, um, if you actually don't take care of them, they get so much bored that they start destroying your rights. So this guy, he looks a little bit angry. Chimp and zombie. So that's how they actually call Chimp and zombie. She explored the galaxy. For, you see, he he doesn't look that happy, Astro Chimp anymore. Plus 10 chance percent of broken attraction. Minus 10 percent. Grant this wish to restore your chimp. So what we need for him, we need to find a little bit of popcorn. Let's actually find that for him. So right now, there we go. Actually, there we craft something. I will show you. I will show you around. Oh, something is. We need to repair this. We need popcorn, my friends. And we got too much stuff currently going on. We will. I told you this game. This game has a lot of things going on. Why are all my? How many popcorn things I actually have available? We can sell stuff, but at the moment we can actually cook stuff. So you create. Um, yeah, stores, so for example, an, a candy store, an apple store, and then now then you can craft things together, basically cook things together. So we can create a candy apple if we have apples and candies, obviously. So that's very easy. Then we can create a popcorn apple if you have popcorn and a candy apple and so further. You understand it. You get it, right? Then popcorn cotton, uh, cotton candy, and lollipop. So we can actually create a lot. Uh, what I see at the moment, I actually have too many apples, my friend. Definitely too many apples. Let's collect a little bit here. Let's see what we get here. Oh, yeah, we need that cash. Oh, yes. And we pick up those guys. Wanna upgrade your inventory? Oh, we need. Let's actually use some of those gems. Yes, we need to upgrade our inventory. That helps a lot. Sweet. So, let's tr still try to get this guy. How long will this take? Can I skip this? Let's actually skip this. Bam! So let's make this guy happy. Come on, we actually have... There we go. Oh, this guy is happy again. Woo! Repair time is five seconds. Let's do that with a little bit of cash. Then we cook. Okay. And besides, like, building... Um, building your... Yeah, building a candy store, building an apple store, and so on. So, what else you can do here? You can, as you can see here on the left side, you have characters from the movie. You saw him already, there was Astro Chimp. We can actually go in here in the Wonder Pack dashboard. And there you see our finances currently not too bad and maintenance 96%, 20% story progress already. And here are characters. I have currently five inactive characters. And let's actually look into June, which is one of the main characters of the movie as well. So let's actually find her, where is she? Where is June? By the way, something is broken here. Let's repair that. Oh, everything is broken here. Yeah, I need to take care of my park. Collecting the cash. Where is June? So there are two characters. Ah, there she is. There's June. And with each character, you have a possibility to actually do a cool animation. So you can either draw blueprints. Blueprints, for example, on one side, you saw it already, is very, are very important if you... Uh, want to repair 
anything what's broken. So you should always have a couple blueprints um, handy in your inventory. So actually we go there and she will actually, yeah, draw a blueprint. She's a little, she's a master in that one. Let's actually check out another one. Where's the bear? We saw the bear. There's the bear. Boomer. Boomer the bear. And we can tell him, you remember if you watched the trailer, you saw how he fell asleep when he actually needs to do work. And we can make him do that right now. Look at that. This is so cool. Bam. I love details. I love details in mobile games. Because mobile games are usually, you know, they're smaller and so. But I love it when the developers actually go the extra mile and put him extra details in this. And this is really sweet. So, there we go. Take a little bit of this. Yes, yes, yes. So, I told you, if you like games like Roller Coaster Tycoon, then Wonder Park is perfect for you. If you like any Pixar movies, Toy Story, whatever, Wonder Park, you should definitely play it yourself. Then... Besides that, besides building, as you can see here, we can build characters. We need to build always the house, which so a character gets unlocked in that. We already got Greta's house, we got Flower Cup's house, Space Rocket with like the Astro Chimp, we got Boomer's tent, but we can still get Frog Hopper and Water Gun Pool. I don't know how many characters we have, but we probably have a lot of them. So, Water Gun Pool is the next one I would actually aim for. We need. 3,300 coins and um, things he likes and he can create actually is fries and chicken very nice So you can actually see what those guys can do And besides like building those houses for characters what else you can do obviously you can build attractions Which is really cool and those attractions on the other side. They will bring you um, They will bring you more visitors more visitors on the other side will bring you cash obviously and those called smilometer and the smilometer is very important so every day you should always like have a little look collect the smilometer so the more visitors you have the more smiles you can actually earn you see those guys he's ready thanks for the blueprint let let him do something else uh, promote the apple stand for example look at that guy well you should promote it you shouldn't eat it man don't eat my whole inventory boomer then what else where's where's june we can actually go to june 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 where's she walking she is that june that's june uh, if you say for example promote the apple stand she's not doing the same she's doing something totally different look at that she actually yeah she has a basket full of apples and like she's going around showing it to other people and they're like okay i want to have an apple perfect perfect employee there i'm telling you you see our inventory is full again what are we doing we need to cook Let's cook something. Okay, cotton candy. That's good. Anything which actually brings something. That's good. And then we can go for a popcorn apple. Let's do that. Beautiful. You see our inventory is getting smaller again. Or emptier, basically. Let's go. So, and you see we can expand our park. So, I'm currently around level 5. But you see, we have here the um, one of the happy, happy coaster. And I think that's straight out of the movie. Really, really cool. Then I remember that June in the movie, or in the trailer of the movie, she actually used the Sky Flinger. I think that's a scene of the movie as well. Where she's trying to repair the park, which is broken. And then further, yeah, we have here the dessert factory. We got the burger factory. Where you obviously get your fries and the chicken probably. Then we got the combo shop. I have no idea what we get there. Then we get the gift shop. Really, really cool. And so and so. So you, this park is far from being done yet. Oh, whoa, smiles. Sorry. Look at those guys. Everybody's waiting here to actually have a look at our flying carousel. Very cool. Collecting my smiles. Doing that. Fantastic. Someone is happy. Let's actually see here, get a coconut, and then on the left side you see you have little quests. The more characters you unlock, the more quests you will have, the more extra items you can get. You see, those are rewards, we get like 3 diamonds, 73 stars and 50 gold coins. Get a cola drink, a cola drink, and the other side you go here, you need to go there and you can actually, no not there, where can you get a cola, here you can get a cola drink. What I need is popcorn, I'm missing popcorn, seriously, popcorn is like number one resource here in this park let's actually build up another popcorn stand
Like technically, well, what you could do as well, you could put, you could just put it here, right? That wouldn't make any difference at the moment. But I'm honest, I always feel like I always have this need to, um, that everything looks good, you know? I don't know how you are like, but for me, it's very important. Things need to be accessible. It needs to be. It needs to feel real. So that's why I actually put things right next to even right next to the street so people can actually enjoy those and not need to go I don't know inside of it so beside that what you can do when you um, unlock some of those extra attractions which you can't build you can only unlock those like for example this one the flying fish carousel I unlocked myself what you can do now you can actually assign a character to it and then tell like let's go so um, what we need at the moment is actually a little bit of cash we need to cook again Unbelievable. There we go. We got a popcorn apple. I'm gonna upgrade your inventory. And yeah, you can sell stuff. Let's actually go here. He wants the candy apple. He can get this. There we go. He wants a blueprint. He gets he gets one. That's okay. Uh, you need to be careful. Some of those items, for example, like the magic pen. That's one of those items. Complete an order in the combo shop for a chance to get this item. Uh, some of those items are very, very exclusive. So in order to sometimes unlock a new um, a new attraction like this one, for example, the, the combo shop, you can see it here. You will need for the combo shop, you need like um, cash and you need blueprints. That's kind of easy. But let's see if we find something. Here you see, you need like a pearl or something. I don't know what it is. Like um, it's a little bit hidden there behind the star. And here for this one, you will need a, ah, I don't know if this is a pearl or something. And then you need the magic pan you see there. Four of those and 50,000. So, um, sometimes I would highly suggest you to not sell things. Like, especially not exclusive items. Even though, even though if you look at the magic pen here, for example, you will get 408 coins. That's a lot. But that guy, I'm telling you, it's not a good idea to actually do that. Uh, so... I need cash, man. I actually want to send some... Oh, we, we actually got enough cash. So we can finally um, assign someone. Let's assign the flower shimp. And rewards, you can see we got 363 rewards. Plus we got a lot, a lot of smiles. And we have a 20% chance on an extra item here. So we start the ride. He is going. And this is something what you should always do if you... I don't know. This is typically a game which you play um, every now and then for an hour. During the hour, not for an hour, but during the hour you always open it and then you wait. You wait until you can collect more stuff. And before you finish the game, you should always assign you guys to actually do stuff. So for example, if I would finish now, I would say assign all. I tell like okay, this guy is going to promote the apple stand. This guy is promote the candy stand. Yes, he's definitely going for cotton candy. He is currently obviously on a ride, so he can't do anything, but at least those guys are assigned. Do you ever wonder what's the deal with Wonder Chimps? Sometimes they become chimper zombies and wreck all sorts of havoc. It's like a wildfire. I know. Let's get a firefighter Wonder Chimp. I bet he will keep us a park safe. Oh, okay, help us. Build a water gun pool. Yeah, for that I need enough, enough cash at the moment, which I'm lacking, but it's okay, it's okay. Let's get June now. She will do something for three minutes. Let's go promote the candy stand. You see, again, a different animation. Really, really cool. Oh, we need more cooking, man. Let's see, do we have enough here? No, we still don't have enough. We need more popcorn. We need more popcorn. Need to get rid of some of my inventory. Unbelievable. Can I sell something? Nah. What you can do if there are items which you don't want to sell ever, you can just click here and they actually will redo those and then tell you, okay, there's another chance for getting something else. Ladies and gentlemen, Wonder Park Magic Rides should be available right now for Android and for iOS. If you want to play it, I would highly suggest you to just check out the description down below. Um, the first link brings you to the game itself. You can try it yourself, enjoy it. Yeah, build your own park and yeah, experience some magic in the Wonder Park world. Wish you a wonderful day, guys. That was a casual mobile gamer.